Hi everybody, this is Walk It Out 1963. For all you diehard Palmer Clay fans, if you do not get this magazine, oh my gosh, you are missing out on so much. I love this magazine. As a matter of fact, the dragon that I showed in my first videos was pub published in this magazine. Not this one, but you can't see it, but that's the magazine up on my push board right there. That's the magazine I was published in. And it has so many helpful hints. Like these earrings here. You see the kitty cat earrings? Oh my god! Isn't that too cute? I made the pin, but I kind of like... I sold it I sold it for like thirty dollars for the set of earrings and a pin. This came from the second set from the first set I made and I didn't like it too much, but I kept them. Um but this book look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, come on. This is such a good book. If you get a chance to to look at them, I would say you could get it at borders, but borders is no longer but you can excuse me I've still got a little bit of cold <clears throat> you can get them at the um, Lord Barnes and Noble or you can order them off of their website which is polymerclaycafe.com but look step-by-step -step instructions look how cool that is and it even shows you the Skinner blends that you need And it explains a lot on how to use a lot of the clay tools and what you can do, like for um, your care for your beads and blades and stuff. I know that looks like an awful lot of steps, and it really wasn't. It really wasn't that hard. You can make it as hard as you want or as simple as you want. But look, it can show you how to make a cane. Isn't that cool? Do you see how simple this is? I can even do this. <laughs> As a matter of fact, this is where I get, you know, and look, they have a gallery and they have contests to where you can win money. You can win um, magazines. Look at this necklace. Isn't that beautiful? Look, the Skinner Blend right there. The Bullseye. The Bullseye Skinner Blend. And then they turn into a mosaic. Isn't that pretty? I mean, if you're a true die-hard Paula McClay fan, I mean, look at that. This is, oh, this book is just so awesome. And it's really not that expensive. It really isn't. For what you get out of this magazine, it's a really good magazine. And it has, con oh, I love that mask. And we all know I love my skulls, my mask. Isn't that pretty? But, sorry for the glare. Aren't they cute? But this is, um, last, um, see this is the challenges. You write, you do your part, you take a picture of it, and then you send it in. And, what is this channel? Fla this cha challenge is flowers. And it tells you step by step, and then you write a short, a short summary of what you do. And when you do a challenge, see, look, it tells you how to do your Skinner blends and how to make a um, bullseye roll. And then in the back, it tells you about ah about what you need to do. And this is the one I got today. And look, those are so awesome. And I'm going to make some and. Um, on this page here, I'll show you, look, it even shows you how to get everything. I mean, like I said, how to make the leaf for this flower, for that leaf and stuff. Um, gosh, this is already, okay, see? It shows you how to get it going. And that's to make these beads here. 
and look and I'm actually thinking about making some of these and possibly making some molds out of these I'm going to carve them look at this fish OMG isn't that just the cutest little thing bloop, 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 bloop. Oh. at least I'm not singing just keep swimming 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 okay I'll stop but look I mean OMG look how beautiful it is and it tells you step by step how to make these how to put them together and what you need and then look the little bookmarks isn't that cool and that's all you need and it tells you step by step how to do it including the beading and the texturing and it gives you some examples down here of what you can do with them I'm gonna make some of those too and it shows you how to make some of these so you know if you all want some really good magazines I have been a member of this magazine ever since it came out about eight years ago so you can imagine all the magazines I have yeah I've got quite a bit of them and look at these butterfly wings oh my gosh and there is one book that shows you how to make the butterfly wings I think the butterfly wing cane is one of the hardest canes to make oh I hate making those things but I mean if look at this this is just too cool glowing mushroom light I am so going to try this and hold on wait until you see it wait <gasps> and look they glow in the dark the way they do it is they hooked up little bitty the little bitty lights that go on like your Christmas tree and stuff the little bitty ones for the doll houses yeah there they are and then you get this I'm going to try to make it but I am not going to put the lights in because I'm not very good at doing stuff like that but like I said these are some really awesome awesome books and if you want some new styles and stuff like this and you'll find a lot of um, Kato in here look at the mask oh my gosh so pretty but um Donna Cato is in here quite a bit quite quite a bit and you don't have to worry she does not enter any of the contests in here because she's a professional and you'll see a whole bunch of beautiful beautiful artwork but like I said I if you get a chance to pick up this book I surely would pick up this magazine it is one of the best polymer clay magazines As a matter of fact it's just about the only polymer clay magazine that is out there on the market so I hope you like this rambling for eight minutes <laughs> well nine minutes please like comment and subscribe bye everybody